क्रॉस हाइट क्रॉस विथ वी हैव अ गार्ड कूल ना नेक्स्ट थिंग इट सेज इज वी हैव एन आर ए ट्री वेयर इट जस्ट सेज दैट इट कंटेन्स द कॉर्डिनेट ऑफ दैट ट्री एंड वी हैव अ स्क्वेरल विच कंटेन्स द कॉर्डिनेट ऑफ दैट स्क्वेरल द राइट सेट एंड वी हैव एन आर ए ऑफ नट्स वेयर वी हैव लेट्स ए एन नट्स एंड बेसिकली इट्स अ वैक्टर वैक्टर वेयर ईच वैक्टर विल कंटेन ओके वॉट फॉर दैट स्पेसिफिक नट वॉट इज इट्स कॉर्डिनेट्स now what we have to do is the squirrel can only take at most one nut at one time and can move into four directions and and do something else we have to return again remember that the squirrel can take at most one nut squirrel can take at most one nut now return the minimum distance for the squirrel to collect all nuts again squirrel have to collect all nuts and put them under the tree If the squirrel has to connect all nuts and that squirrel can take only one nut at a time, so for sure he will have to connect that, like collect that nut, put that nut on the tree, and then go back and go on to the next nut, then connect that nut and then put it back to a tree. So when the squirrel can only pick one nut at a time, so he will go to the nut, collect that nut, go back to the tree, put that nut here. then squirrel will be at the tree so he will go to other nut collect that nut come back put that to a tree and then again go to some other nut collect that nut come back and put that tree so you will see that how it will look like for sure initially if i have a squirrel i have a tree i know that the squirrel has to go to some nut it has to go to some nut in the beginning for sure he will go to some nut in the beginning let's say it is a nut 1 it's a nut 2 it's a nut 3 so either 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 it can go to nut 1 nut 2 or nut 3 it has to go to one nut and for the remain and as soon as he goes to the nut 1 so for sure uh, he will collect that nut which means rn so when we are saying that we have to go from the squirrel to the nut so are we saying that we will find the shortest path between squirrel and the nut it you might say that you are finding shortest path but you will see it's just a simple grid and the distance is just the simple distance of like simple difference of their coordinates there is no obstacles as such so you don't need to use bfs to find the shortest path you can just simply do okay if its coordinates are x1 y1 its coordinate are s sx comma sy so the distance between a square and a nut will be nothing but sx minus x1 which is absolute value for sure and also absolute value of sy minus y1 so that will be the distance so we don't need bfs or stuff just to find the distance so because we don't have any obstacles this tree also is not an obstacle for us i can go past the tree to actually reach any of the nuts so for sure this the distance thing find out it we can do without bfs or without any graph usage you might think okay for shortest distance i want the shortest distance from the nut to a squirrel or from squirrel to a tree from nut to a tree so maybe i am just using a bfs no because it's a simple distance i can just simply do a sub like find the distance by simply doing a coordinate subtraction now let's say when we have found the distance so one thing we for sure know that from the start, from the squirrel i can choose any nut as the beginning nut and i can go to n1 maybe i choose to go to n2 maybe i choose to go to n3 let's for now i choose to go to n1 then from if i go from squirrel to n1 then from n1 i have to go to a tree so that's one thing for all other nuts for sure i will be starting from the tree itself going to a nut and collect that nut coming back to a tree so for all other nuts the distance will be actually basically you have to travel this distance so it will be nothing but from nut to a tree tree to a nut which is 2 into distance between distance between nut and a tree distance between nut and tree it 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 will be for nut 2 and the same will be for and the same 2 into distance of nut 3 comma tree same will be for nut 3 for this nut 1 the only thing will be actually happening is that uh, i will have distance from this nut 1 to squirrel and then also the distance from this nut 1 to tree this is the only thing rather than 2 into the distance between nut and Nut and tree. I just use a distance between nut and squirrel because first time squirrel can be at any positions. It's not specific that it will be at the nut itself. 
ओके सो अल्टीमेटली माई फाइनल आंसर वुड लुक समथिंग लाइक ओके इट विल बी नथिंग बट टू इन टू और आई कैन जस्ट इजी लाइट दिस थिंग विच इज डी इन टू एन वन एस विच मीन्स फ्रॉम नट वन टू स्क्वेर एल और बेसिकली कैन से स्क्वेर नट वन से एवरी थिंग इज सेम डिस्टेंस बिटवीन नट वन एंड थ्री एंड देन टू इन टू डिस्टेंस बिटवीन नट आई कैसे डिस्टेंस बिटवीन नट टू एंड थ्री प्लस सेम टू इन टू डिस्टेंस बिटवीन नट डिस्टेंस बिटवीन नट थ्री एंड थ्री now for sure uh, here i just wrote not one but as i told earlier also i have to try for every first thing which means i have to try for not one i have to try for the, i have to try the same thing for not two same thing for not three so in this uh, if you have not known then there is one thing called as uh, summation and subtraction which means let's say if i want to find a b c d if let's say i want to find the answer as 2a 2 into 2 into a plus b plus c plus d. But let's say I don't want to include one specific b, and instead I want to include let's say some x instead of b. And I have tried to replace everyone. Let's say I will try to replace a. I will try to replace b. I will try to replace c. So one way is take its summation. One like I'm just showing you one way. One one of the ways which we use actually in programming. In in competitive programming, one way is just to take the sum, which is this a plus b plus c plus d, and then you know that you have to find like ultimately my task is to find replace every like take two into a plus b plus x plus two into c plus two into d. Ultimately, my task is this. So I am at the ith index. I know that I have to replace this up. So one way is that uh, you just go and try to find for everyone, which means go and find the sum entire sum, replace this, which is o of n square. But we we like we don't want it. So other ways that you know it's some entire sum which is two in like entire sum which is which is like you can pre-compute. So I know it is two into a plus b plus c plus d, which is actually nothing but two into a plus two into b plus two into c plus two into d. I know I'm at the ith index. So what I will do is I'll just subtract the value at the ith index, which is v of i, because I know it's actually a it's actually a b, and then I know for that corresponding v of i, I just have to add a x. So I can move on to every i, and I can just I know it's fixed. I know it's fixed. I can just keep subtracting this value v of i, and I can just find on computing what is the distance because I want this value, and this value needs to be minimum. So I can just compute okay at which index i this thing is minimum. So it is one way. The same way to represent this is the same way, exactly same way to just represent this is. Now, It is exactly it. It is very fine, and usually we use this only. But you will see that you have to iterate on the like you have to first take the sum and then iterate on the entire index and stuff. Rather, you can just use and you can just use and do it in one pass. Because now the interview might ask you, okay, you have reduced the time to o of n itself, which means o of number of nuts. But you will see that it's a two-pass algorithm, which means first you will go and find the sum, and then again you will go and find for every i what is the value, which is the result which we saw, which is two into that entire sum minus v of i plus x. You will go and find for every i. So it's a two-pass, like one pass for sum, other pass for actually finding that minimum value. Rather, if you want to do it in one pass, what we can do is we know this is the sum, right? We can write the same stuff as two into d of two into same two into d of n one comma t. Plus d of n two comma t plus d of n three comma t. Now you will see what has been counted. N one comma t has been counted again. So I have to subtract this n one comma t. Now R in what is n one? Like you, you have to use n two, n three also. No, meanwhile, hold on, hold on. And then for sure, uh, I will have to add this n one comma s plus. D of n one comma s. Now, if I have this one equation, and it is kind of a equi same equation which we saw earlier also. If I have this this one equation, I know that this is nothing but the total. Obviously, you can say two into total. But you will have to simulate this. So rather writing like this, because I want to just apply one operation on this. So I'll just write the same stuff as minus d into n one comma t minus d into n one comma s. Now I know this is fixed. This is fixed. I want the entire thing to be as minimum as possible. So rather maximize, because you know that it is n one n one. I know it is fixed. Rather maximize this right stuff, which is 
distance between n1 and t which means i can just while i am iterating and finding this total sum itself i just keep track on side by side what is this maximum difference can be now this maximum difference is just this difference what it can be which means distance from that nut to tree and then that specific nut to squirrel ultimately in the end i will have this particular maximum difference i will have this total i will just say okay my 2 into total minus my maximum difference is actually my minimum result and that will be my answer in just one pass algorithm is still open and last time was it, it was also open it's just that earlier it was two pass now it is actually one pass and that's how you can simply get this solved cool let's quickly see the code itself it's pretty same as what we saw so firstly um as you saw that uh, we need to have a distance so i can just take and say uh, just go and find the distance between two vectors because ultimately for us uh, our entire thing is just finding those Manhattan distance so I'll just say that ABS of A0 minus uh, B0 and the same thing for y coordinate which is abs of a1 uh, minus b1 now I have found the Manhattan distance I can just go and find my answer I know I want the minimum answer so I just initialize with int max. I know I have to go and find the maximum difference. I'll go and initialize that with int min. And uh, then ultimately I also want a total. So as I showed you, I want a total also. So I just initialize with that. Now I have to go on to all my nuts because that is for every nut I have to go and find the distance. I know that uh, my total will actually nothing but the distance from that nut to a tree. Because I just ultimately know that uh, ultimately in my final answer what i will do is i will just multiply do a 2 into total and then subtract my maximum diff i just need to do this so i just know that my maximum diff will actually become the maximum of so far what's the what's the, what's the maximum diff and also just go and see that uh, specific for that from that nut to tree minus uh, the distance from that nut to square it s q u i r r e l so that will be my distance and this should be our answer let's quickly see and run uh this has one typos so that we should bye bye